What's going on, guys? I am here at the Sega GDC Shindiggity Party Expo. That is a long title. We were trying to cut it down a little bit, but that's the best that our copywriters could come up with. Yeah, yeah. but it's a good event. Yeah, it's it's still a good event and very creative. And I'm here talking with my friend Ben. And Ben, you are repping for Jet Set Radio, right? Oh, totally. I'm actually uh, so I'm the brand manager on Jet Set Radio, and I am super excited that um, it's finally coming back to consoles. It's one yeah. of my favorite games. Been playing it for a while. Dude, it, it's yeah. it's been in super high demand since the original two games on uh, Xbox and Dreamcast. So it seems kind of like a no-brainer for Sega to come back with it. Yeah, exactly. And you know, just the fact that so many people loved it makes it that much easier for us to bring it back. We're like, hey, look at all the fans! Like they, it's like the number one requested game aside from <clears throat> Shenmue. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so uh, yeah, no, we're really happy to be able to bring it back, and um, yeah, it's phenomenal. Nice, excellent. So obviously it's getting the HD remake, lots of shiny new graphics based off the old graphics. And, but what other new things can we look forward to seeing? So um, yeah, as you said, it's gonna, Jet Set Radio is going to be uh, widescreen HD, um, up-res graphics to um, make it look a little, little crisper, a little nicer, uh, or shinier as you said. Um, another another thing we're adding is the Dreamcast controller. If you have a look at it, it only has that one analog stick. So we uh, we looked at a 360 controller and looked and said, oh, this one actually has two analog sticks. So maybe we should map a camera control to that one. Um, so we've gone ahead and done that, and it makes the game a lot easier to play. Um, as we were talking about earlier, especially on some of the nighttime levels in Benton Show, where you're jumping around blind corners and. There's like yeah. a, a drop there, so yeah, you have to like get up to like the top platform, but every time you try and get somewhere, you just fall back to the beginning of the level, yeah. flustered, and have to do it again. Exactly, and no one likes being flustered. Yeah, it's a thing of the past now. It's, it is, it is. Um, so that's one of the things. Uh, another thing is we're running a graffiti contest right now, which ends March 20th, and uh, so with that, we're going to be putting um, 18 lucky winners graffiti in the game and. You know, these 18 fans are going to be able to leave their mark on humanity as I'm one of the people who got their graffiti in Jet Set Radio. Um, so it's pretty cool. And actually, one of the prizes that we're going to be giving away is this awesome Jet Set Radio beverage shaker that happens to look like a spray paint can. Um, Ooh. Ah. Uh, shake it up, and it uh, sounds like a spray paint can, but instead of um, undelicious yellow paint coming out, you get some very delicious beverage of choice coming out so yes, depending on how old you are there may or may not be something extra special in that drink um, if exactly. you're if you're under the legal drinking age it will just contain a smoothie of some sort per chance or Kool-Aid that's that's yeah. what we like around the office yeah. delicious yeah. Kool-Aid exactly. we that's why everyone at Sega is drinking the Kool-Aid well <laughs> no no that no, was no, too no easy no, no. that was too I easy locked into it I'm sorry yeah, that's fine but, but yeah no um Definitely excited about Jet Set Radio. Um, uh, what about the soundtrack? Are we going to have the original soundtrack or a remix? So uh, glad you asked that, Blake. The soundtrack is a hotly debated item right now. Um, what I can tell you is we currently have all of Hideki Naganuma's songs. Um, so that's like, uh, you know, the Rocket On and um, some of the other ones uh, that, that are kind of, um, you know, associated with the game. Um, as, so I don't know if you saw the announcement trailer, but that was one of uh, those two songs. Actually, that one and the teaser trailer are going to be in the game. Um, there are some challenges with licensing songs. So a couple of the original musicians either aren't performing anymore, or their record labels are out of business. So we have to try and come up with creative ways to um, to, to see what we can do and get get the full soundtrack in the game. So we're working our, uh, our hardest. It's not all 100% there yet, but um, we're doing the best we can, and I hope I have some good news for you later on in, you know, closer to launch. Awesome. Well, just give me a call if you guys need a hand. I'll use my bad beatboxing skills. I'll come in there and be like, and like break it down for you guys. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty awesome. Um, well, I think maybe you were the inspiration for Professor K. I might have been. Well, we used to have the same hairstyle. I, I, yeah. yeah. Well, when I was younger, I got electrified when I stuck a fork in a socket, and it just poofed up my hair. But I grew out of it. That's good. I'm yeah. glad. Glad to hear you're, uh, or see you're doing a lot better now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I try. This is the most professional interview ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've, gotten, we've gotten so much information about Jet Set Radio out of it. 
Yeah, and that's, um, you know, it's coming out this summer, 2012. Um, we're all super excited about it. You know, it's, like I said, it's great that everyone's gunning for us, you know? Definitely. It's hard not to be excited about this game, and it's great that a new generation of gamers gets to play it. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's, we're trying to make it as, um, you know, the original experience for the, the older players and then something that new generations will love as well. Awesome. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for talking with us today. Yeah. Thanks, Blake.